Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2009 Road Trek 210 Popular with 46,310 miles. We are inside of this 2009 Road Trek 210 Popular. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. Started in 1976 by our mom and dad. Today, my brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operation. Our brother-in-law, Greg, is in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got about 73 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach here, about 70 inches here in the back where it steps up a little bit. Got a fantastic fan here in the center of the coach that runs on the coach battery that can act like an exhaust fan for moist air coming out of the bathroom, which is in here. We'll check that out in a little bit. Um, or you can use that as an attic fan. If you open up windows in here and turn that on, it will bring the cool outside air in. Got a TV crank for the TV antenna. You do not want to drive around with that TV antenna up. Easily accessible entryway. Got a stash pocket here, cup holder. Got a stash spot here, your porch light switch. Got a window that opens, it does not have a screen. It's got this curtain you can pull across. The front two seats do swivel. So this seat will not get as good of a position due to this cabinet and this driver uh, steering wheel here. But this seat, you can swivel all the way around. You can connect that with this to make up a small bed. It's gonna be for smaller adults or kids mostly. Got a switch for the inverter. What that does is takes the coach battery DC power, inverts it to AC so you can watch your TV or things like that. Got the start stop for the Onan 2800 generator that runs on the fuel tank. It'll stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot run yourself out of fuel. It's got a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Has 184 hours. A start stop switch for the water heater that ignites itself. Got a test here for your propane, your fresh water holding tanks, your black and gray, as well as your coach battery. So push and hold that button. Water pump on off that pumps the water out of the onboard uh, fresh water holding tanks. Your coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach battery from everything in here, essentially taking a cable off of the coach batteries that will pre prevent parasitic draw. That will also stop your charging systems, which are the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in or the generator. Got your fuse panel. Got a coffee maker here. Corian type countertops. Two burner propane cooktop. Got an aluminum backsplash. A little clip there is to hang up the cover there if you're cooking. Got a 110 plug there. Also up underneath, it's a paper towel holder. This window does not open, but you can use this curtain for privacy. A little spice rack here. This comes out quite a ways here. Nice extension. It's the back of your water heater. Got your DVD player, the power switch for your TV antenna, some other controls for your media goodies inside of here. Got a microwave convection oven. It's a convection oven, means it actually heats up. Got a three-way fridge freezer. Got your freezer up top. The rest of it is a refrigerator. Got controls on the bottom, or I should say control instructions 
and we've got the controls there on the top. Most of the time you're gonna leave this in auto and it's gonna do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. That's a three-way meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC meaning the coach battery or propane gas. We do have the enclosed wet bath on this 210. An exhaust fan there on the left. So essentially you can pull this curtain across here. You can shower inside of this room if you'd like. There's a drain in the floor back there. So you can shower right here inside of this room. You can also stand out here in the aisle as you would on many of the road treks and the water can drain here into the trench drain. And a nice mirror here and also here on this wall so you can do your makeup, things like that. Got a 110 plug in there. Plug in your hair dryer. You can also use this door here as a privacy screen if you're sleeping in the rear. Got some of your manuals and other things from the previous owner. Cool Cat AC and heat pump. It runs on your shore power plug-in or your generator. The AC will work as long as it's hot out and the heat pump will work down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. Got some of your TV remotes there. So here in the rear, we've got windows that open on the lower portion with screens on each side. This is a cup holder, these little things on the wall. We've got three belts here on the rear couch, so we've got a total of six belts. These rear windows do open, however, they do not have screens. We've got the curtains throughout. So essentially, this is designed to have this power sofa come down and make two separate twin sleepers. That's very popular, so you can get out of bed without crawling over one another. You can use the table, which is located beneath this cushion, to fill in the blank. You can also use that for the table mount here. Um, but you can fill in the blank, make up the big bed with these cushions, and you can sleep potentially three people here in the rear. I'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 31 inches wide and 75 inches long on the driver's side, and just a little shorter at 72 inches long on the passenger side. If you fill in the gap with the table, the big bed will measure approximately 72 to 75 inches north-south or front-to-back and 82 inches east-west or side-to-side. Here we are sitting in the back of the road trek. Why did the spoon come to the party dressed as a knife? The invitation said to look sharp. Got the TV here on swivel mount. You can swivel that out to face the front. Watch TV from up there. Got 110 power here, here. Got a noxious gas detector there. Also got 110 power here. There's a setting to play some of these speakers through the front speakers. Uh, that stuff's controlled up here. We've got a power switch here that controls the power sofa that I'm sitting on to make up the beds. You can just push that button, run that down, no work involved. Got the thermostat here that controls the onboard propane furnace as well as the air conditioner and heat pump. We've got a noxious gas detector down here by the floor. Got some space down there. A Little bit of the usual age as you see on pretty much all the road trucks throughout on the carpet, um, nothing nasty or gross, just a little bit of age from being a 2009, but very clean throughout. We've got covers up here that you can cover these windows with. We've got a table leg up top. All in all, a very, very nice Road Trek 210 here. Has the enclosed wet bath here, which is very desirable to some. I'm gonna call this one a nine out of 10. It's very, very clean inside and out. The exterior looks very, very nice. Interior has very minimal blemishes. So nine out of 10 on this one. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Wanted to show you some of the manuals we've got here. Generally, when you see manuals kept like this with handwritten notes and things like that, uh, we've got just tons and tons of stuff all broken out here by piece. 
and even more manuals here. But generally, when you see somebody that keeps manuals like this, uh, you know they took good care of their unit. So in addition to the process that we have here at Coon Truck and RV, I think this one was pretty well cared for by its previous we owner. Down here, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player with auxiliary input. Got a little glove box down here. Seats are in very nice condition. Front carpet's in nice condition as well. Not seeing any signs of smoking, burns, tears, funny smells. The cigarette lighter is unused. So while it's tough to say for sure, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. We've got this curtain that you can pull all the way around the front for privacy. So we're gonna go around the outside of this 2009 Road Trek 210 Popular. This RV measures 22 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 1521 date codes. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 express van chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 46,310 miles. Got a nice looking exterior on this one, lots of shine left. Got our porch light, furnace exhaust, two coach batteries, got actual alloy rims, got storage drawer. Got a little dent here on the rear door. Going around at the back of the RV, we've got your air conditioner coming out the back. We've got a tow package here. The propane tank is behind this little plastic cover here. Got a storage bay here in the back. Nice storage here. You can cover this hole up with these pieces of wood here. Got your awning crank and center rafter. Got the fill for the winter tank. This is a smaller tank that's located inside of the road trek. That is for colder weather camping. Around now to the driver's side. Got a storage bay here. Got your shore power cord that plugs in there. Got an outside shower. It's nice for kids or pets. Got your uh, cable TV hookup. Got city water coming in. You can fill the onboard fresh water tank from the city water if you'd like. You can run all that stuff out of this hole here so you can close this drawer. Got our fill for the engine and the generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank. Back of our refrigerator, back of our water heater. Got a macerator pump on this one. So you're gonna open the black gate and you're going to turn the macerator pump on. The Everything's gonna get pumped out of that. We've got our gray gate as well. So do the black first, then the gray. The macerator is turned on via this little silver button here. And we've got the fill here for the main freshwater tank. So this is the one you're gonna use most of the time. Got a couple of small dings on the hood. It's kind of hard to see because of the light. One right there. All in all though, we've got a very nice looking road trek. This one is ready to hit the highway.